Greetings again. This is Dr. Bill White with the American Orthodontic Society, and I want to talk to you today some about expansion of adult arches. In other words, I'm going to show you a lady here that uh, I think she was 61 years old when we started and how we expanded this arch. And you, you take somebody with little narrow arches up here and if you go apart with them, it increases the airway, it, it drops the roof of the mouth, comes down a little bit as it goes out, and you can watch this go through. And this is, there are just tons of, a, there's hundreds of adult people out there with, with the money to pay for arch, for the uh, straightening of their teeth, and then we don't teach adult orthodontics in the schools, or not very many of them do that I uh, know of. So we we're trying to show you how it will work, and it lasts. And uh, this lady that we've done here, we show her several years later, and I've known her for years after that, and it stayed out there. So let's get uh, going, and I'll try to cover as much as I can, as fast <laughs> as we can. Uh, here is the, I want to show you a case here. This is an adult lady, she's 61 years old, and she came in with the arches like they are over here to the left side of the screen. And this is in a class two relationship. Uh, if you see this cuspid right here, we're going to put it back over in this side and we're going to move the lower jaw forward and we'll level this out here. And here it is in, 19, uh, in 1996, and it started in 91. And this is some time after we finish the case. And this cuspid now is going right down between the cuspids over here, and here it is. We're going to move it over to that point right there. And now let's look at the case from the front and here's the way it looked when we started like these teeth were back underneath here this was laying all and there's a there's a whole bridge in here we're going to expand the bridge along with the rest of the arch and here it is after about five years this is 327 this was 791 so it's about five years later and I've watched this lady uh, years after that. She came in and had her teeth checked and everything, and this held up. And we've widened it out, and the bone structure in here is just as good as it was. You know, it held up and had no going through the bone structure. You just go out easy with this, and you put the buccal root torque into the rectangular wire, and the large wire keeps the crowns from going in, and you can expand like that. Now, if we take a look at it from the other side, uh, this was in a class, kind of an end-to-end -end relation, and we're going to put this cuspid in there. We'll bring this lower jaw forward, and we'll push it in, and you see the cuspid is actually uh, looking at it from the side. It would be... Uh, right down the center over here, and so here it was out here, and then we'll bring it down there, bringing this jaw out as these teeth were lined up. Now, okay, if you look at the uh, palate part of this, this, this palate is considerably wider than this one over here, and the roof of the mouth comes down here, it's kind of leveled off more and kind of this way as it went out. Now if you take the airway of somebody and you pull it out this way and you lower the f the roof of the mouth is the floor of the nose and then you bring the teeth if you widen the mouth this way and you root bring the roots with it you've got a lot more airway up here so you can have uh, more allergic reactions, a thing before the tissue swells up so big that you can't breathe through there. So 
this is a, something that can be done on people as uh, I think as long as they're living, I think you can do this. And so you look at the side over here, we have enlarged this, we brought this tooth through. Look at the shape of it in here, like that. And this is several years or three or three year, two or three years after we finish the case. Now let's look at the uh, bottom arch and you see it. We'll widen it out and we've brought this around straight. And this is a bridge right here. She's, I think she redid it to some extent. But anyway, you can move this bridge just like a big tooth, kind of like a table. We just move this whole thing out or bring it out to some extent. And then you treat a bridge kind of like you would uh, a single tooth, but it's got a double root on the, the tooth. So anyway, we widen this out and this can be done. And I just wanted to bring that home to you that these things can be done and it can be done on adults and you, you don't ruin the bone as I brought these teeth out. You see the bone structure is with them right at the same time. And I've watched this lady several years after, after the 96 here and she is still that way. I'm going to show you the teeth of the lady. This is 91 when we started. You see down here at the bottom of the page. It was 1991 when we started. And this is the side view. And you see how she's in a kind of a class two uh, problem here. And we, the arch is kind of shaped like this. And we're going to widen this thing out and move the bone structure. We move the teeth and the crowns and the roots out. And that's where people uh, make mistakes. They think they can just push this crown out, but it'll make the tooth lean and the roots might even be further in uh, out here. So we'll show you how to put the uh, progressive torque from the cuspids on back. You don't have to widen that out. You just spread them, then you, you torque these uh, for bicuspids and molars out when you get there. Okay, here is the lower arch. Now, here's how we did this. Uh, you've got to straighten the teeth out a good bit before you can put a rectangular arch in the end of these brackets and you put torque on those rectangular arches kind of like like this and you spread that you bend that down and push it in here and it's going to tend to move the tooth that way if you don't have something really heavy to carry it out here it'll move the crown in better, quicker than the root will move in the bone. But then we put the large arch wire on here, which won't let the crown go in. And so the torquing brings the root out and we bring the crown out with the large wire. And that's what we want people to understand. You can't just stick that big arch wire on there and expand them and get the roots to go out with it. They might lean in this way. Uh, we don't want to do that. That would cut out on the air space in here. We're going to improve the air space by widening the roots and the crown at the same time. Now, uh, here, here it is the way it was. This is 92. We've got it straightening out a little bit here, getting in where we can put a rectangular wire in. All right, here's this large arch wire right here. It may be a, an 036, uh, 36 thousandths, or you can, even if you want to make it larger, you can have an 040 arch wire, which is bigger than this wire. And you make this wire fit the teeth before you start like you want the arch to be. See, you put that on there. Now you've got to have a rectangular wire inside this that's going to bring the roots 
out as you bring the crowns out. It's not as simple as just sticking this big wire up there and spreading it. Now, if you had teeth that were spread out like this, you could bring the crowns out. But some of them, if you just take straight up and down teeth and just bring the crown out, they actually the root will go in as the crown goes out like that. It rotates on the, on the tooth. So let's uh, get on down with it. This is the large wire uh, on the sides, and this is 1992 when we stuck that uh, big wire up there. It was 91, I think, when we started the case. Now here we have adults. This is a bridge in here, and we bonded uh, a bracket onto this bridge, and we just move this bridge like a like a, a table or something where the the crowns of the uh, and the roots of the ridge just moved out. It will expand that uh, as you go with it. The whole bridge. Now here is the upper arch again. We've got this large wire on there. We still haven't got the rectangular wire in yet. We'll put that in la later on. And uh, all right, now we, I think that's the rectangular wire uh, we've put in it while we still had the large wire on there. Now this, uh, this rectangular wire has buckle root torque in it. And let me kind of uh, show you a little about buckle root torque. I'm gonna try to make this a, uh, around uh, wire. I'm going to show the teeth like if you had the teeth sitting in here and, and the roots going up in here and let's come over on this side and make a tooth also and uh, we'll kind of quickly draw this off. Now I'm going to draw the bracket slot but with my finger like this, I can't draw it uh, real small, but the bracket slot would be something like that. The bracket would be down this way. Now, if you want these roots to move out, you put a wire in there that's going to be bent, and you're going to have to bend it down. You twist, it, you twist the wire this way and it's going to bend that down. So this uh, arch wire would be shaped something like that. And you'd have to bend it in this direction and stick it in this slot. And when that wire has torque in it, it's going to tend to move this root out. Now if you don't have something really strong in here, what we call buckle this is the buckle root torque. Instead of giving you buckle root torque, it'll make the crown of this tooth move in this direction. But we don't let the crown go because we've got this uh, big daddy arch in there over that. So we got something pushing it this way and it won't let it go and we put something bringing the roots in this direction and you can widen anybody's arch out. Uh, uh, this lady is 61 years old and you look look at what we do and you can learn to do that uh, and the uh, knowing the schools that I know them they don't don't teach uh, how to do adult orthodontics and there's just a world of that out there. So let's uh, let's get on I'm gonna, erase that now and get back and let me get back to this. Now this is a rectangular wire in there and it's got, you start at the cusp it right here and you put this torque in these teeth right here and it'll make these roots come out to the buckle. If you didn't uh, have this large wire on there it would make the crowns go in because the crowns are in the air, the roots are in the bone, and it's harder to move the roots out than it is the crown uh, to come out. And so you put this on there while you've got the large arch wire in the, in the mouth. And uh, I want to make sure that people understand that. 
Now, this is the large wire. We can finish it out as you, if you can tell when the roots are out, if, if the roots are in, these buckle cusps won't touch here. The, it changes the root of the tooth that way. And when you get the tooth leveled out, you know the roots are out here too. And if you do it slowly, you will have the bone structure kind of moves with it. On the cheeks up here, it's not uh, a lot of uh, uh, pressure on there to keep the uh, soft tissue to develop the bone. Out in the front, you might have to put a, uh, a lip bumper in there. All right, we're going to that. And here's the a rectangular wire with a torque in it. And now we're moving the root and the whole thing in like that. Now I'm going to show you. Let's go back here and see the uh, the different arches. I thought we had some. Okay. And this is the way when we finish, we have widened this the mouth structure out that much like that. And I, I guarantee you, if you can go in and show the uh, do adults there's just a world of orthodontics out there to be done and people want to do that thank you for watching and i'm going to close out now and and stop the king thank you for watching